This is the world sliver. How far can your sliver go? Just got a call from Patrick to see what I'd be I'd be interested in coming to become a, a brand ambassador. And I have to say that it's been, it's been a fantastic five years. I don't know where it's gone. It's just another really sharp idea. And uh, you know, these have been all over the world in the, in the craziest places. And uh, it catches your eye and you're, you're, you're drawn to see, my God, you know, that's, that's class. So, this is Ireland, you know, um, you, you can't source it anywhere else. This is probably one of the highest points that we reached in more ways than one. John Burke uh, from the Armada Hotel in Spanish Point. He climbed Mount Everest uh, uh, within the last 12 months. He brought this litter as far as base camp. A local guy here in Ennis got one of the NYPD to sign this litter and brought it back home again. Uh, and uh, you know he, he struck up a friendship with him uh, to get it to get it done. Obviously, it's been in the in the Far East. Uh, and it's been to almost every sporting event in the world. So uh, for us, it has brought a bit of Ireland and a bit of Ennis and a bit of Clare and a bit of Irish heritage to almost every part of the world. Yeah, I think it's just that desire to keep moving forward, pursuit of excellence, and as was in, in, in retail and, and in business, that probably never stops. There's the odd one have told me I'm mad, all right. There's no doubt about that. We were closed for a month. I'm delighted to be open. I was never as glad to put on a suit in my life as I was last Friday morning. Some people thought we were closing down altogether with the amount of stuff that went out the door, not having seen the amount of, of new fixtures and fittings that actually came in uh, to replace the, the, the old ones. Some people thought we were putting in apartments. Some people thought we were putting in a restaurant. So, you know, there was an awful lot of confusion out there. The transition from old to new brought a lot of mixed feelings. I was thrown out a hell of a lot of tradition, a hell of a lot of family history and walls that had seen and heard all types of stories. So it brought on a hell of a lot of feeling. Kilrush has been a very, very good town, not alone for us, but for all the family businesses that have and are still working in town. It's the hub of West Clare. We're on a peninsula. If a town like Kilrush doesn't thrive, well, the whole peninsula won't thrive and I, I always felt that the people of West Clare and they're very very solid people here in West Clare that they deserve the best. Well I like to be nicely dressed. I was brought up with my mother dressed all the time to perfection. Michael is a long time customer of Burke's. He did business with my grandfather as a younger man, as a young fella. He, did, he, he, he was a customer of my father's for decades and he's still a customer today. Somebody yeah. asked me to know that I buy anything in Patrick Burke since he reopened after renovation. And I said, no, I wish he'd come back and empty my wardrobe. <laughs> my grandfather would, would, he could judge a man by, by just looking at him. And yeah. even today, uh, I can still do that. Mm. Yeah, that, that said, that, yeah. That, you tell him to go down to France and walk by that window. Yeah. And he'd know their measurements <laughs> for a suit. Michael was always a snap dresser. He <laughs> always wore a suit. Yeah. He was at Mass this morning, and what were what, what they saying to you? What's the idea? You're all dialed up this morning, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going somewhere? <laughs> We were one of the original stockists of Tommy Bow shoes, uh, and we are, we are proud to, to, to say we were one of the first in the country to take them on. Uh, we've known Tommy since the, the, the beginning. We first met Tommy when he came to the store visit, and um, the one hour signing turned into a five hour marathon for him. So afterwards we said we better get him something to eat before we send him home. <laughs> so we were upstairs having a chat and just talking about everything. Tommy said he was getting married, and as a throwaway comment, somebody said, give us a shot at the wedding when, when it comes around. For me to, to take some of my groomsmen from, from Wales and from Belfast and from all over down to Ennis, I think they're looking at me as if I had 10 heads. A lot of guys have come in looking for the suit Tommy Bow wore. We still have the card that uh, Tommy sent to us that's still in our dress hire. It's read by every groom. Obviously Tommy is recognisable to everybody who's coming in and out through the shop. They know that there's an association there. Going back and what, what I said about putting the effort in, and I think that that's something that Patrick probably said to me too, is about you know having a good product and putting the work behind it, and that's something that we've done. And with shops like Patrick behind it, pushing the brand is always uh, really helpful. 
Well, I think for in terms of my brand, I want to try and I know, spoke, speak to people like Patrick, who have obviously the legacy of Patrick Burke's menswear. Uh, 90 years is an incredible achievement, you know, an incredible achievement and to go down into a store like I have been a number of times, you know, one of the top stores around the country and, and you can see that to have a legacy you have to keep improving, you have to keep pushing on and I think that that's something that Patrick has continued to do and, and certainly from my brand's point of view that's what we'll, continue, we'll try to do uh, to maybe not as, as good an extent as him but we'll do our best. <laughs>on the kitchen floor before six every morning with staff. I'm there at the busier times to, to give them a hand. We think very alike and we work alike. We have the same work ethic. Pat's very meticulous in his work. His man was the same. You know, I admired her from the day I met Pat. He loves coming up here because it's a different type of business. But you meet different people here to who you're meeting in workshop. Start of it was Patrick, really. He came up with the idea when I left college. I was a little bored. And he said, you know, why don't you open a coffee shop? And he gave us a loan of £400. He would be very kind and very kind to other people as well, not alone me. Pat is very business minded and he has rubbed off on me. Pat lifts me in a certain areas, I lift him in other areas. We would be very solid like that together. We think very alike, I think, really. Honesty and being honest with each other, that's a big thing with us. Kindness being another one, you know, there, there has to be a certain amount of kindness. This is even outside of love at all. Those two things are part of a loving relationship. I, I've often said if I owned a, a Brown Thomas in Dublin, I'd never live in Dublin. You know, if I owned Harrods in London, no way would I live in London. You couldn't ask for better here. You're not far from anywhere, but yet you're miles away from everything at the same time. So, it, it, yeah, it, we've got the best of both worlds here. We definitely have the best of both worlds.